Hey, what's up guys? Snoopy Minotaur here. Today I'm going to be talking about Winterfest 2023 this year as it finally came to an end and oh my gosh, since we've all had time to process this event, uh, this video is most likely just gonna be a rant. I'm just gonna just cut the chase right now. This event was an absolute disaster. This could arguably have been one of the worst seasonal events we have had in quite a long time. Like, what is up with Epic making these bad seasonal events? Like, what is up with this? This is yet another year of Winterfest. Winterfest that has sucked and this is arguably the worst year of Winterfest we have ever seen in Fortnite history. Now I will say this here, is it as bad as Summer Escape? No. I wouldn't say this is as bad because they did try with some things. However, this is a, this is definitely a second unto it, I'm, in my opinion. This is arguably the second worst seasonal event in Fortnite history, and I'm going to tell you all why right now. So, strap yourselves in for a classic rant video. So, beforehand, let's talk about the positives because there were some cool things and good things that, we, that did come out of this event. Like, for example, the free cosmetics. Usually a staple towards Winterfest since 2019, we usually get some free cosmetics, which is pretty cool that they do that, and it's very grateful that we do get free cosmetics at the end of the day including two skins like they do not need to give us free skins but they keep doing it every year and i actually think that this year's winterfest skins that we got when it comes to the free ones were really good we had a new boxy remix which was pretty cool but i actually do think that she was probably the weakest one out of two because the bush ranger wow i am actually very impressed with this one because this actually made a lot of sense and not only that there's a lot of interactive stuff you can do with the skin like whenever you jump some snow would come down on the skin which is really cool had multiple different edit styles as well like this is arguably one of the best free skins we've gotten in fortnite in a long time especially for winterfest i actually think he's one of the best winterfest skins we got in terms of free ones i think he was the best thing that came out out of all the free cosmetics we got this season i think it was really good and then the last thing here because this is the only other good positive here were the map changes they did change two areas on the map more or less we had a huge little area that was basically like sans workshop which was pretty cool and there was also a change at a little like delivery area which was pretty cool to see so yeah really cool that we did get some map changes at the very least but that's pretty much all the positives that i can say about this event so let's start tearing into this event with the first negative of why this event was an absolute disaster the ship it ltm now it's really cool to see ltms come back into fortnite that's not the reason why i'm putting this here as a negative here more or less this ltm was just done horribly because this is supposed to be kind of like the catch ltm to where it's only like throwable items only well in this event they decided to not fix a certain issue in here to where there was guns spawning in the game mode and this basically caused the game mode to completely die i'm not even kidding this game mode had like less than a thousand players at some point during this event like wow that's crazy like that that to me is just generally crazy like a lot of people love ltms and i'd imagine this could have been a really good ltm but epic didn't fix any of the issues that people were saying sure they were on break during this time but they couldn't have have really play tested this whole thing entirely before pushing it out to live servers have they not learned this at all another big reason to why this event was a disaster was the loot pool now there were some cool things that they did bring back obviously the snowball launcher came back and they also brought back some other things we haven't seen in a hot minute like the snowy floppers i think that it's the snow floppers essentially and they even decided to bring back the icy grappler for only 24 hours essentially because or not even 24 hours because they decided to remove it and bring back the grappler not the one from fortnite og that's a really good one it's the one that everyone remembers that has 10 shots in it like what like why would they do that like it's so weird like is it because of it going really fast because it nobody had issues with the icy grappler when it was out back all the way in chapter two when it was introduced but apparently now they got an issue with it like i don't know why they decided to even add it back to begin with even though it was perfectly fine the way it was no idea why they decided to remove it maybe because of the whole speed boost thing but makes no no sense like if you're gonna actually make map changes or just like more or less not just map changes in general because there was barely any map changes during this time besides the ones i just talked about but loophole changes make it not only make sense for the event but also make them pretty common because i could barely find any of these whatsoever inside of the game i could barely find anything at all when it comes to these besides like the the presence chest that they had which they added in this scene like during this time which was pretty cool and even at that they ruined presence like the presence sure they drop pretty good weapons but more or less they don't drop weapons that have attachments on it which i do find very odd that they went forward with that and decided to nerf them down so that then you don't get weapons which have attachments to them which is very weird now we gotta talk about cosmetics because oh my gosh cosmetics during winterfest 2023 they were so bad and i i will talk about this 
right here. So let's first talk about the first big problem with cosmetics. There was no winter cabin this year. I don't know why they scrapped the idea of bringing back the winter cabin, even though it was confirmed at the beginning of December that they were planning on bringing it back. But I guess they decided to go the lazy route and put it in a certain little tab in the quest tabs. You press one button and you got all the free cosmetics. Like how lazy is that? Like how absolutely lazy is that? Now I'm not complaining about the free cosmetics here. That's not what I'm complaining about because obviously I talked about it in the positive section here, but the winter cabin is such a staple and a fan favorite thing for Winterfest and you get rid of it. Again, this isn't the first time they've done it. They did it in 2020 and they did it this year again when it comes to 2023 and they went the complete lazy route. At the very least of 2020, you actually had to do challenges to get them. Instead with this one, you just click a button, you get all the cosmetics essentially like from the event. Like it's, it's really embarrassing and it ruins the whole vibe of Winterfest because unlocking everything with a like in a click of a button sure is is very easy but more or less it does it ruins the whole feel of Winterfest that's why the cabin completely worked because it felt like Christmas it felt like a holiday event and even at that they were changing it yearly so it felt more refreshing and it felt really cool to go in there you know what I mean getting rid of it is not a good idea because it ruins the whole aspect of how you get the free cosmetics to begin with it makes no sense but now we gotta talk about the item shop because obviously you all know i recently made a video talking about the item shops oh god okay where do i start with this how about this i'll just rip the bandit off and i'll just tell you this here this is the first winter fest that I can recall that we did not get a single new item shop cosmetic for Christmas at all this year. At the very least with the previous years, we were actually getting some cosmetics, even if it was like one or two, but we didn't get a single new cosmetic released this season. While there were skins like the new Eevee skin, there was a new Ageless skin that never released, which did have Winterfest tags to them that never released. It makes no sense on why they decided to go forward with this. Now, I do believe there were like a couple new bundles that were added in and even at that they were completely shafting already existing cosmetics yule trooper had his own set bundle that never released and even blinky had his own set bundle that never released but speaking of which oh boy they decided to do what fort nightmares did forgotten cosmetics let's talk about that next because I don't know where to realistically start here because they forgot so many cosmetics this year. It is bullshit. Now, obviously, I can't mention every single cosmetic on here, but I'll give you some of the cosmetics that were forgotten this year from previous years and from this year. Like, for example, the big flake wrap was did not return this year. The frozen gear bundle also did not return this year. This Those two would be like the third time in a row they have not returned in many years, like over three years now. But they decided to do some arbitrary BS, and that is forget skins. Glimmer's one the skins that didn't even come back this year slushy soldier was a skin that didn't even come back at all this year they even forgot a couple of pack cosmetics like the black ice legends and also the frost legends packs both of those did not re-release this year it's it, it, like what in the world is that they even forgot snowbell it's freaking snowbell i know a lot of people were excited to get this one this year like that's so sad but then they also decided to do something also very arbitrary they've decided to forget emotes more or less the two emotes that always get shafted in Winterfest around the clock and snow day. Why does Epic hate these two emotes? Like what is up with them not re-releasing these two emotes? Like that's insane. And guys, they forgot so many other cosmetics that I could just keep going on and on. Like what in the world was this? And not to mention the item shops themselves were terrible. They just kept repeating the same tabs over and over again, which has been a problem with the shops ever since the beginning of chapter five. It is embarrassing. But overall, Winterfest 2023, I honestly think hands down was the worst Christmas event in Fortnite history. No winter cabin, no new cosmetics. They forgot so many cosmetics. The loot pool changes were barely even noticeable. They completely butchered an LTM return. And there are so many other bad things that come out of this. It just is so terrible. This wasn't the worst seasonal event we ever had because obviously Summer Escape is the worst one I think we've ever seen. But this is definitely the second worst seasonal event we ever had, and especially the worst one from Christmas in this game's history. Epic, don't ever do something like this again. Go back to what was working when it comes to these events and actually make them good again. How many years are we going to keep going to get a good Christmas event? We got a good Halloween event last year. I'll say that. Fortnite Nightmares 2023 was great. It wasn't perfect, but it was great at the very least. It was actually fun and replayable. This was a joke. But ladies and gentlemen that is it for today's video i really hope you all enjoyed it if you did happen to enjoy this video consider subscribing to the channel don't forget to check out my twitter aka my x account socials are all on screen thank you all so much for watching i love every single one of you remember everyone it's always good to take chances